So tell us about your company and and how you started that and why you started that. When when did you start it? When did you start your company? Right. So I started uh, Hasofu in February 2021. Okay. So it's been about, yeah, it's been three years now. Wow. Great. Okay. It felt like yesterday. <laughs> um, so I started that and you asked, why did I start that, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I started that out of frustration with <laughs> the university system and industry. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's very fair. <laughs> there was like this huge gap in what I needed to know to actually get hired in electrical engineering. Tell me about it, yeah. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. It's astronomical. So I'm from the Bahamas, born and raised. I started off in physics. And I figured, well, I want to do physics and math, but I ended up saying I need a more practical degree because at the time, physics is like, how can you get paid for physics, right? So I, went <laughs> to, I went to electrical engineering, switched over, transferred to the United States, was an international student for a few years, like a good, what, 15 years? That's great. Graduate school and all that stuff. So taking all of the undergraduate courses, the master's courses, and the PhD courses, running out of courses to take, I learned power systems, power electronics, control theory, all that stuff. And I found again and again, working as a graduate teaching assistant, because I couldn't pay for school, I was only on scholarships. And that's, that's the only way you could pay for school, being a GTA. Um, I found that the students, there was like this huge gap between what the university professors right would be teaching and saying like they'd be uttering words right but the students like myself we weren't getting it a lot right. of times right. like how is it relevant in industry how right. am i going to use this right uh i would say rampant like techniques to do the homework faster like right. people i mean i wasn't involved you know as a student <laughs> i'm just saying like people had question banks and everything because they were like, we realized that there's this huge gap and the professors aren't going to care enough or even know to close that. So right. we're just going to do what we need to do to get the A, you right. know, and we'll do our internships and learn from there. So I'm like, to me, it didn't make sense that even though I was working, I was doing three scholarships and working my butt off to pay for school. Right. So I didn't have student loans. I don't have student loans, but there are people with student loans getting scholarships and everything to right. spend four or five years of our life to not have a life in double E right. to survive for only 50% of us to make it for only X percent for X percent of us to get a job, right? To learn that we got, we did our bachelor's to get to ground zero. Right. And we didn't actually learn what we need to learn in industry. That's right. That is true. You are out of luck. <laughs> If you're like me, introverted, didn't make the connections to get right. into internships early. Oh, oh, and by the way, yeah, you're not taught how to do the resume properly, not in a formal way that worked because the Career Development Center didn't really know the deets, really. You'd have to pay for copywriters and all this stuff. Like, that's what I had to do to even get a chance to get an interviews. And it's like, who you know, it's who you know. It's like, okay, well, why am I doing the bachelor's then? Right. If it's not my skill, the skill right. gap is too wide. The skill gap is too wide. Exactly. And I have to make connections and skip the resume. Why am I doing all this? Right. So my gripe and frustration was that I had to learn things like PCB design when I was the teaching assistant for senior design. So I had to learn it to teach it to the students right. while simultaneously doing all my courses, right. while seeing them like be frustrated with certain professors and everything. Um, and so learning all these skills, learning from books like Complete PCB Design with Craig Mitzner, learning from Doc, or learning from Robert Ferranek, learning from Dr. Bogatin, Lee Ritchie, uh, Dan Beaker, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth uh, Wyatt, and, and all the greats in PCB design outside of the curriculum. I'm like, right. this is nonsense. Right. There needs to be a gap bridge between what we're learning in school Correct. Versus what industry. So I don't have to keep hearing, oh, you don't have the relevant experience. It's like, right. why am I here? Yeah. No, it's school and education is a lot of investment and effort and time. And then to start at zero, basically, and not even have an opportunity in many cases, you know, to get hired or have an internship. It's just, it's brutal. 